someone was on top of the world thinking they had options. Someone thought that they could do better without you. I feel like someone thought that they had countless suitors or options to choose from, and they stopped putting in an effort when it comes to you or the connection they once had with you. I feel like this is someone who is now pretty pissed off because something wasn't as easy as they thought as they thought it would be. Hmm. Something didn't quite go their way. I feel like this is someone who invested in some things that they are now questioning. There's a lot of frustration. Someone is definitely pissed off because they feel like you won't give them another chance to start something over. I feel this is someone who ignored the truth. They didn't try to understand what they had or the connection with you. Hmm. Someone was debating about whether they should leave or stay. They thought they had options. This energy was on top of the world. But I feel you helped this energy get where they were at or this energy was benefited by your presence in their life. This is someone who now feels like you won't give them another chance because of how they ignored something with you. Now this energy is thinking about the chances they took or the experience of the unknown or how they ignored understanding you because this energy had to relocate or get a new perspective. Please take it how it resonates, but this energy invested in something different. There's an investment or this energy put their energy into something or someone else. Something that was disguised as something that was safe, that was truly unpredictable. So I feel like this is someone who is very immature when it comes to their ways or their emotional intelligence. As it seems, this energy hates nothing about you, but I feel this is someone who invested their energy and their time into a friends with benefits or a false environment. I feel this is someone who gave into a snake in disguise, someone who is not true to who they are presenting themselves to be. Someone gave into an option that they're now bored of. Hmm. So I feel with this energy, when they get bored, they repeat cycles and they just ask for forgiveness later. But this energy is never truly resentful or what is the word I'm trying to get here? This energy is never truly changing when it comes to their ways. This is someone who wants to bring in some type of news to you, but they feel like there's a wedge between the two of you. They feel like you're watching or seeing them different these days. I feel like this is someone who invested in something that they're now bored of. There's a lot of frustration for what they choose to or chose to ignore. Now someone is pretty ticked off because they know they made a bad investment. This could be a bad date or a bad encounter. This could also be an event that went wrong, but someone is now realizing they should have never invested in the unknown. They're really upset because now they may not get another chance with you. Someone wants to start over, someone wants to bounce back, but there's a lot of frustration, a lot of secrets, there's a lot of lies, someone's trying to cope with a lot of things that are unfamiliar to them. Hmm. But someone's going to have to read between the lines when it comes to this. I feel someone's going to have to read between the lines, and they're refusing to see something for clearly what it is, but someone knows deep down they may not get another chance to make another start. I feel this energy is repeating cycles with a friends with benefits or someone they thought was a friend or someone they thought they could count on. But I feel these countless options have now become an intense headache. I feel this is someone who thought that they were doing the right thing. But I feel this is someone who was only giving in to their own selfish desires or what they wanted something to be. So they were indecisive. Someone was indecisive and they got locked up or tied down by something. Someone's been wanting to contact you for quite a while now. But they feel like you're unbothered. Doing well without them, even though you may be struggling through your own healing path or still struggling with how they chose to close the door with you but I feel something has been left to mystery for a reason. Someone realizes they have to relocate or continue to repeat some cycles. Someone knows that you are a soulmate. This is why they contemplate on reaching out to you all the time. You're on their mind all the time. 
but they feel like you just gave up and let go when really you just had to surrender to what you knew was true. I feel this is someone who needs to read between the lines when it comes to facts and not fiction, and I feel they're just making themselves upset by not realizing what they lost with you. Someone's just not ready. Ready to love or ready to give in, this energy is powerless to their own weaknesses and addictions. This is someone who has a lot of trust issues. I feel this is someone who has a lot of trust issues that has left something blank or unfinished with you by just vanishing, ghosting you, playing a lot of games because they don't believe karma is real. But I feel this is someone who got catfished as well because of their trickery. Someone closed their heart. Someone could be upset because you're now out of reach. There's a lot of money issues and this energy feels like they just can't recharge. This is someone who wants to recharge but they also feel like they need to relocate to do so. But they feel like being rejected by you or even others is going to really put them in a deep or dark space. Something that they're not wanting to deal with so they're just coping with the pain wherever they are. There's a lot of confusion. There's a lot of drama. Someone knows that something is unfinished, but they also feel they need to close one door to open another. This energy feels alone, even when they're not. This energy knows they're alone because of their secrets. Their secrets keep them dark or hidden because they're still dealing with the side piece or a lot of situations that, that create a lot of layers. They're still trying to figure things out. They're still needing to tap in to their intuition. I feel something is about to happen very soon. Someone knows that you're special, but this is someone who is still tapping into or wanting to believe. Someone wants to just think about the good times. They're trying to dress something up. This is someone who is still trying to impress for many of you. This is someone who is still putting on a show, still not letting go. One more card here, Holy Spirit. One more card here. What is the message here? Yeah, this is someone who's still trying to figure things out. Still trying to figure things out when it comes to life, love, spirituality, karma, as these choices have only led them to a dead end. Let's get a little bit more energy from this deck here. Holy Spirit, what are the messages here for the collective energies? So someone's definitely in trouble when it comes to a situation. They're trying to be strong about it. They're trying to play cool or be unbothered. But I feel something is bound to happen. Someone regrets the fact that they put you in this energy because they feel like you're no longer bothered or no longer wanting to help anymore. Game over. Someone feels like the jig is up. You're no longer wanting to help out. They feel like someone's trying to put them in their place. There could be arguments. There's definitely tension. But there could be conflict that's causing them to rethink some things, figure something out. But I feel in the process, they're either really ticked off because someone called the police or they are really ticked off because they now realize they just might have to do something strange to get out of this. Hmm. Something alarming. Something that needs to be done now. Something needs to be let go before something ends in a very dark cycle. I feel there could be tension dealing with the situation. Someone's still keeping secrets even though they know they have a lot of love for you. I feel something or someone is about to be kicked to the curb and this energy is about to follow their heart when it comes to you. This is some one who could be kind of spoiled but I feel they're also dealing with a, a deep sense of depression for their betrayals or the person they become in spite of all the love that you gave. I feel this is someone who is spoiled because they never thought that you would let go but I feel the game is over when it comes to someone who is just not strong enough for you. I feel this is someone who feels like you just gave up but I feel you had to make a choice when it comes to you and this energy and I feel you had to choose self because it was only it was the only sane option I feel giving in to this energy compromising loving them more than you have loved yourself has only left things in struggle and chaos and many of you are overwhelmed or over this mess because they never fought for you this energy didn't fight for something and now you could be protecting this yourself or your energy from their games you're centering yourself finding a new way healing from a mess. 
many of you are on chill mode or just in isolation from what what was destroyed or what someone tried to destroy i feel you are stronger than they thought that you would be in a situation you didn't react the way that this energy thought that you were someone didn't think that you would be unbothered this is a runner energy that just ran right into their karma this is someone who is getting a reality check when it comes to haters those that they invested in because they know now or they will know they made a horrible choice this is someone who should have set the record straight by now but this energy didn't they continue to make these choices that only cause more damage in their own future or even their own present energy someone wants to talk to you and vent talk about feelings emotions this is someone who wants to talk about their bad choices and vent to you. This is someone who wants to tell you they hate nothing about you. This is someone who is trying to ride it out, believing that you were chased or thinking that you would somehow fix this, but this energy now feels you're just over it. They're afraid of what you're attracting or this energy is trying to get over something because they don't want to be so attracted to you. I feel this is someone who is stuck in a nightmare, stuck, stuck in a false reality because they're still putting on a show, still running from a truth. But I feel something deadly, something very alarming is about to happen when it comes to a copycat or a bugaboo. This is something that's going to leave them sick, something that's going to leave them in a space where they're wanting to be healed or wanting to be over something. But I feel something they threw away unapologetically is now expired. Someone tried to give a fake apology. Someone tried to pretend something never happened. They didn't talk about it. So since you couldn't prove it, this energy is always leaving out the details. This is how they're throwing something away, getting caught up when you already know the details. You already know the truth. For many of you, you already know the truth. You have evidence and you're not trying to hear it. You see this as a spiritual attack for someone who is still giving into addictions and player ways. This is toxic energy for someone who, who has temper, temper, temper tantrums or false energy always seems to forget to put the pieces together when it comes to the facts. They just give into emotions, a false sense of reality and doing anything when it comes to being seen or valued when it comes to material things. Someone forgot all about the connection they had with you in search of something else, something that they're still searching so searching for and may never find. I feel this energy may never find what they're searching for because what they needed was with you. But I feel this energy blew it. They screwed something up and now they're sitting in a dark space dealing with a hater, something they should have ran from. Now that you're unbothered, unbothered trying to censor yourself, someone's dealing with an alarming situation, wanting to come in after you and make a new beginning, but someone is still dealing with their karma, a reality check. One more card here from this deck. We're going to move on. Yeah, I think this energy is coming into a space where they're starting to realize how toxic they truly are. Hmm. <sighs> Someone knows they destroyed something with you and now they could be receiving karma for the mess that they caused. Being toxic, poisonous to this connection that should have been a blessing. Someone's still needing to figure something out when it comes to affairs of the heart. This energy is pissed off at everyone else but the true villain, which is themselves. This is someone who can easily make anyone else, someone else the victim or, well, the villain in their story. This is someone who is always the victim, but never the villain. But someone is about to get a reality check when it comes to being disastrous, toxic. Someone is about to be humbled when it comes to their mistakes. Someone is trying to figure something out due to divine timing. Something is alarming that's about to take place because someone attached themselves to the wrong thing or the wrong person. Hmm. And they were not sorry about it. Someone was not sorry about being toxic or orbiting a toxic situation. Let's get some more energy here. Yeah. 
someone didn't have the strength to get through something and make us feel like you gave up on something so they did some very toxic things to a situation instead of reconciling something with you but i feel this is someone who's getting a reality check about you being stronger than you present yourself to be you're unbothered and someone is now realizing they didn't have the options they thought they had someone's trying to orbit a situation trying to be attached but not attached someone still wants to fix something with you but i feel something very alarming is about to happen that puts them in a space of wanting to limit their energy <sighs> because they're still thirsty and wanting your attention. I feel the more silence that is given within this connection, the more they feel they have to figure you out. But I feel this is someone who did a lot of things from a very resentful or spiteful place. Many of you are not trusting them in the same way. You know they may be thirsty, but this energy abruptly changed on you. Now someone is all in their feelings. Reverse the rose if necessary, but I feel something you did was certainly on target because even though something flatlined, I feel something had to be savage when it comes to this energy just so they could get it. I feel you had to put something on blast. And even when putting something on blast for someone who is completely extra, I feel you putting something on blast can also mean you being savagely silent. I feel something in flat mind when it comes to communication. Hmm. And I feel you being silent caused something to be put on blast, who they really are. Everyone can see how extra or emotional they like to be. This is someone who likes to use emotions to get what they want. They can't keep it simple, but I feel something is going viral. Everyone is talking about it. Everyone is talking about how something flatlined with you or how savage or extra they were. This energy was orbiting or revisiting a situation that only caused them to be led astray. I feel this energy just gave up on life and tried to take you with them. This is someone who is now seeing a change in your energy, but I feel something, whatever you did is on target, is starting to make them see something changed or something won't be the same now that something has flatlined, something is dead or something is dying. Someone's being extra, extra loud and proud about a disrespect, but now they're being quiet about an apology. This is someone who's completely salty, trying to be low key, <laughs> break the deck and there it is. This is someone who is high, talking loud and being disrespectful, trying to do something their way, and now they're being quiet, they're being very silent about this apology. In fact, this energy is coming out as being salty. There's a lot of sudden mood changes when it comes to someone who is trying to bench you or put you on the sidelines. This is someone who you can't even stand to listen to at this point because their energy is suspect. However, I do feel something will be exposed. The T will be exposed. Someone is wanting to talk about something loudly when it comes to this energy who is being disrespectful or extra. Something that they threw away. Something that they were fired from or lost. Someone's definitely trolling. Someone is trying to finesse a situation, something they don't want you to find out. I don't know what this is, but someone's about to do something really disrespectful here. Someone's about to show you or something's about to be revealed when it comes to someone who is all cap. This energy wants you to believe they're on target when it comes to a hustle, a glow up, something that has changed in their life, but something is truly dead, flatline. There's no beat in the heart like there's no foundation there's no love there they're just gassing you up deep down this energy is salty knowing that you got away or something got better for you this energy is not trying to be weak about it but they feel like you just canceled them you just gave up someone just someone's in a mood because they have convince themselves you just gave up on a situation but I feel this energy pushed you to it or this energy pushed you to change your mind about not giving up or continuing to be there this is someone who just took something too far they were too high key about their disrespect but low key when bread crumbing you I feel this is someone who is a follower and follower not being real not being real about their emotions, their moods. Someone just can't keep it real. This energy is wearing a mask. They're in their feelings. 
And this is someone who needs to be careful with their words when they're talking to you or responding to you. As I said before, this is someone who is very disrespectful. This energy had a lot of energy when they thought that they were doing what they wanted to do. But I feel the struggle is real and they're feeling that energy right now. Now that something has flatlined, they know that you are woke when it comes to a squad, a false sense of self, because many of you have receipts. I feel something you did definitely was a well-played scenario here. Someone wants the green light when it comes to you, but I feel whatever you did or said or didn't do was well-played here. Success. You're woke to someone who is definitely in their feelings. I feel like you know that they're doing a lot of things out of emotion instead of from a true sense of self, integrity, value. This is someone who is shocked on how you played a situation because they know the vibe is different. They never should have threw shade at you. I feel this is someone who regrets the fact that they couldn't be an adult about a situation. They failed themselves while trying to get a reaction out of you. Someone wants to reach out to you, but they know they're going to have to watch what they say because you're not as invested as you used to be. They might not get another chance to talk to you this time. Someone's trying to gather their thoughts, gather their energy, wanting to slay something here, wanting to be high key about something they're low key about. One more card here. And there is also something going on with a squad, a group of people. This could be a friend group. This could be a family who's talking or whatever the case. But someone is wanting to speak something out now that they know everyone knows the truth. Yeah, this is someone who had a fear of missing out. Someone had a fear of missing out on something and they did something in a very savage way. I feel like this is someone who did something in a boastful way. They were talking loud about it when they made this change. This was an abrupt change. Someone did something out of nowhere. Pretended not to be interested. Someone thought that they could do better without you. But I feel that was all cap. This is someone who was trying to finesse themselves as well as you. I feel this change was sudden. Because someone didn't want to be left out. They thought they were missing out. I feel there was also pressure from others. <sighs> And this is another thing that everyone is seeing that this energy is easily led. I feel like everyone thinks this energy is so foolish for letting go of you or not seeing your worth. People are even laughing behind their back. Laughing about how they lost you. When you only saw the good in them. You only saw the good in them. And this is why everyone is laughing at them because they were too bitter, too salty to see your truth. They were too high key about their dis disrespect and low key when it comes to the energy you deserve. <sighs> now they're driving past your house. When they took this abrupt change, this energy could care less when they thought they were winning. You already see the truth when it comes to someone who is always never really sticking to the plan. Someone could be bouncing around. <sighs> Going from situation to situation, couch to couch, please take it how it resonates, but I feel like this is someone who never really changes self. Yeah, that's selfish. Hopping back and forth. So this is someone who is very selfish, not just with their own energy, but also with change. This is someone who believes they don't have to do things differently to create an abundance in their life. This is coming from the energy of being finessed or finessing something, but never changing. Someone was finessing a situation and never changed. They went back and forth or they went back and forth because of their selfish ways. Now this energy is dropping past your house, wondering if you moved, wondering if you still care. Because they were being extra something for that line with you. Someone's thinking about the last conversation that was had. Someone's thinking about it because they stressed out or they reacted to you because of unpaid bills. Someone was stressing because of something that was undone. Hmm. Someone thought that you would be head over heels by the time they reached out, yet your energy was worse. This energy felt like you would be in the energy of wanting them to come in no matter what. Hmm. Let's get some more energy here.
they couldn't decide. This is someone who was so lost in their own desires that they couldn't see a truth when it comes to home and change. Someone was too focused on things that they thought would bring them happiness. They didn't stand up for you or the connection. They didn't, <laughs> this energy didn't even stand up for themselves. This is why they couldn't even stand up for you. This is why something flatlined because the energy they present is all cap. It's all lies. And everyone else, everyone knows it. Everyone knows that they are not standing on the truth and they're being boastful about their lies. Everyone knows that they're being extra about the details because they're being stubborn. I feel like this is someone who is being stubborn because they know that something just cannot be fixed. This is someone who put all their eggs in one basket and didn't think about mixing their energy or investing in something that was not going to be there in another five or ten years. I feel like this is someone who is being completely shallow. And this is why they created this bad karma. This is how they created this mess because they feel like something couldn't be fixed. So they didn't invest. They didn't commit to an apology fixing this because they were being stubborn. Someone was sitting in the energy of being indecisive. Someone kept something a secret. And you couldn't see something before, but I feel you know now someone is up to something because they're so shallow. They're creating all of this bad karma you knew something was going to be a hard lesson. I feel you knew hard lessons were at hand when it comes to someone who has narcissist behaviors or tendencies. They're always trying to manipulate things through crying or blaming others. This energy thought that you would be easily fooled. Now that you see their true colors and this energy knows that they can't just pull one over on you, this energy is struggling to make things work. Someone is trying to fix something or make something work that they know isn't working. It's becoming an overwhelming experience. They know that they the spark is different, the, the spark is gone, and it's becoming an overwhelming situation, something that they are now struggling through. They're struggling to admit how shallow or empty they are. Struggling to admit they really screwed this up. But I feel there's also someone who is very calculating. There's some stolen money here, and the family is over it. This could be just a group of people that they're trying to confide in, but everyone's over it. Everyone's rolling their eyes. They don't believe something about something that is stolen, something that is lost, something that they're trying to convince everyone is not their fault. But everyone's rolling their eyes. No one believes it. Someone knows that they were doing something that they're not really telling the truth about it. But everyone is really, really upset about it. The family is over it. The group of energies, they're over it. Someone's being calculating or someone believes that they're pulling the wool over someone's eyes. And that's completely far from the truth. Because something couldn't be fixed. Someone's watching it all fall apart. This could be your energy or everyone else's. But this, this was bound to fall apart. Mm. or someone was bound to come back your way. But if, whatever it is, you won't see it coming. Whether it's the disaster they have made or the fact that this energy is just going to pop up out of nowhere, whatever it is, it's going to come out of nowhere and you're not going to see it coming. This is someone who many of you already know they're up to no good. Someone could be trying to reach out to you because of unpaid bills or the direction they chose to make is now keeping them up at night but I feel they're struggling to make this work when they should be struggling to make a change or do better to be better we're gonna get some final energy here on Holy Spirit what are the messages here what are the messages here for the collective energies Well, this is someone who is trying to laugh something off. They're trying to pretend something just didn't happen. The fact that they feel like something just cannot be fixed, this is the reason why someone is being stubborn with you. I feel like this is someone who is being stubborn because they're trying to make something more complicated, but they're just making you lose interest. Hmm. Yeah, but deep down, they're afraid of losing you. Someone is stubborn, and they don't even know it. They just feel like they need to stand their ground. 
but they're just being shallow about a situation that they know they caused a lot of confusion and heartbreak in. They created their own karma, their own bad luck. And this is something that they're going to have to come to a real reality about because nothing, nothing is going to change until they do. I feel like this is someone who is always tripping on you because they can't see past the fog and they don't want to hear you speak a truth. This is someone who hates hearing the truth so they pretend things didn't happen. Someone's pretending something didn't happen. Someone doesn't want to have a deep conversation about the past or something that they know they did. This is someone you may have to be 10 steps ahead of. You have to take the lead when it comes to someone who is on the rebound. Uh, someone's on the rebound because they know they made a lot of unclear choices for no reason. They gain nothing. There's no fruits from their labors. So this is why others are talking about them. This is why others are laughing or holding them accountable in a very toxic or strange way. This is another reason why they're distant or far away from you. Someone feels like you're going to laugh as well. Hmm. But I feel you're going to have to be smarter. You're going to have to think smarter when it comes to this energy. They're in a very dark space. I don't feel like they really know that. Wow. Okay, so for many of you, you're going to think smarter when it comes to this energy who is on the rebound by protecting your energy, protecting yourself, your your mental space, and others. I feel like you may have, you may give them the time of day. You're going to have to stay 10, hit, 10, step, 10 steps ahead of them, though. I feel this is someone you're going to have to stay ahead of when it comes to having no closure. Take a step back, if possible, because something is up, and for many of you, you feel it. I feel many of you may reach out to others or speak this to other people who are around you and they think that you're crazy. If you're speaking this to them, they definitely feel like you're crazy because you're not giving in. If you take a step back, this energy feels like you're just being another problem, but I feel that it's necessary. Many of you are going to take a step back and it's going to be because of your intuition. You know something is up. You feel it. There's trouble ahead. There could be incoming tea. This trouble ahead doesn't have to be physical harm for you, but it could be deadly for someone else who finally sees that you know the truth. I feel you may have to take a step back to receive that truth, but this will be a sigh of relief because many of you already know the truth. You know the truth when it comes to someone who is completely lost because they're doing more. This is someone who is doing more than they say they are, but they're still not admitting it. This is someone you're going to have to take a step back from or just be smarter than them because there are definitely hard lessons at hand. This is someone who doesn't believe in karma, but they're uh, about to be sitting right in it because things are about to get worse. So if you decide to let them in or hear them, I'll be careful with them. Because things will never be perfect when it comes to the faded chemistry. But I feel things will finally change. But it's going to be up to you and whatever choice you make.